And we're back. We are trying to get a pla plasma beam. But I can't seem to be able to jump worth anything. Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. All right. I wonder. I did that, so... There. Oop. Gotta start murking. Oh, is the plasma beam supposed to be able to kill them? That's my guess. There we go, folks. Plasma beam! And I believe that's the one that shoots out the three, right? Well, two, but you get the idea. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, radical, baby! Alright. So yeah, so now, we can go elsewhere, and I believe in the wrecked ship, yeah, there's still, there's still one, there's another reserve tank I can go and get in there, which, you know, we're gonna be pa- wow, that was quite a fall, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be passing through anyway, so why the heck not? With our upgraded laser beam. I wanna I'm gonna make a suspend point real quick. Oh got your ass. <laughs> yeah, create suspend point. Oh yeah. Can I just say I love suspend points, especially for old games. Like you know, they didn't have the technology at the time to like implement like an autosave feature. In fact I think I think Zelda was just like revolutionary in general for having a save feature at all. I think like most games relied on like a, a password system. Which you know is fine for the times, but I'd prefer it to be a bit more you know, better. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, that's some reach. Okay. Now we go up. But yeah, we're probably not going to get to Mother Brain today. But, um... We won't get close. The reason why I'm a bit hesitant is, I think I've mentioned it before, they have, like, um... The stupidest thing. When you get too close to the final boss, it makes it so you, can, you can't leave. And you can't explore the rest of the world. So it's like, why? So I'd like to get a good amount. Ooh. Come on. So I'd like to get a good amount of the world explored beforehand. Oh my gosh. Come there we go. That was that was weirdly tough. Oh, it's disgusting. What is that? The dancing crab demon? That nightmare? That true nightmare? Uh, Jono, what happened to you? Oh, I can... I can just jump. <laughs> New revolutionary thing with the spring... I've never had the spring... I've never gotten the spring ball before. Which I guess I've never, like, got thought to go back there after, uh... You know, after the fact. Gosh, I have so much health. That is... That is just great. I am loving that. Is this back in the wrecked ship? No, it's right before the wrecked ship, actually. And there's nothing in that in those waters. So we're just gonna ignore it for now. So yeah. Slicing through. Oh, this is great. Alright, um... 
So let's no. So let's see. Um gotten the E-Tank in there already. Yeah, okay. Ooh, we are using missiles. Okay. So if memory serves correctly... We go over here. Ooh, I can just do this. Oh, that I got to have a bad to bag nab bab cack. Okay, so if memory serves correctly, I had to go to the gravity suit first. You had to go to where the gravity suit is. But first, we're gonna save. So yeah, I had to get to where the gravity suit is, which was over, it was over. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we had to get the, I'm just repeating myself at this point. Okay. <laughs> I wish there was a way I could just like, you know, burst through this wall here, but no. That's not, that is not how the game wishes to be solved. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh. It's just so satisfying tearing through everything. Did I, did I get the little, the rocket over there? The, there's a missile in the other room. Well, now we'll never know. <laughs> Maybe? Perhaps? Hopefully? Oh! It's painfully close. So... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is a perfect opportunity. Oh, I did not get that. There's a there's a missile there's a missile waiting for me. Okay, let's uh go back out then. Damn it. Okay. Let's see now. So, looking around, looking around, nothing. All right. Yippity doo, scoobity bee. Yippity hop bop and doobity doo. Okay, so there's like an. Don't remember what that was, but that's two, but. I've been bamboozled! I've been done a trick. That's a betrayal right there. That's a real... That's a real betrayal right there. Oh, and I can't even just do the thing. It shows me where to go, but I can't go there because the game won't let me. Oh man, I, was, I wanted to shine spark my way through. But I can't. Because the dumb developers won't let me. <sighs> That's fine, I can go get the missile tank. It should be right over here. 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 Oh. So I suppose I have to kill everyone first, don't I? No problem. No problem. I can literally just tear through them. Just look at the carnage. 
There's gonna be carnage to pay. Okay, in all seriousness, why did they choose Woody Harrelson? Like, I get it. He's a good actor. Not for Cletus Cassidy, but he's a good actor in general. I liked him in The Hunger Games, and while I have yet to see him in, um... I have yet to see him in Zombieland. I heard he's good in that one, too. But yeah, why? Why would- why- why choose Woody Harrelson for Cletus Cassidy when there is a clear psychotic redhead that would have been such an easy choice? The guy who plays Jerome on, um, on Gotham. He's a- he's like a natural redhead. And you've already- you've already seen him be a psychopath. Mix that with Carnage. Holy crap, it's almost like it's perfect. I mean, I still want to see the, um... I'm still excited to see the, the Venom sequel when it eventually comes out. But, like... Why Woody Harrelson? <laughs> like, of all people, you know? Like, really? What would possess you to pick him? Especially because he has no hair. Cletus Cassidy is a character who is known for having a very specific hair color. And you think, eh, we'll just throw a red mop onto him and he's good. No! No, he's not! Quite the opposite, actually. It does, it did, I was rewatching the scene, and I, I was like, I'm, I don't remember it looking that bad. And then I, I rewatched it, and I was like, no, it's worse. How the hell did I do this? Am I supposed to go in through the... Through the super missile hatch? I don't know if it's the glare on my TV, or if I'm just missing something. Wait. Aha! Yes! Oh. Okay. Now watch as I try to tear through everything. Alright. Okay, there is a there is a threat here. <laughs> I could have sworn like one of these rooms had like fakes had like fake spikes. Oh I'm thinking of in like Brinstar. Not Brinstar, Norfair. So, yeah. so then we go down. Get carried by our little bird friend here. We descend into the stairs. Okay. So now... There should be... Another... Way to... Aha! Okay. Alright. Okay. Just gonna boof our way back, 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 backing it up, or back, backing it up. Give me the missiles, and there should be something behind him. Oh, he's all <laughs> poor bastards made of the stuff. Oh, yes, yes, I see. Okay, all right. Yeah, I see. All right, I get it. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, come on. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes! All right! Yeah! And we got it, folks. We got ourselves a third reserve tank. And with that, we're going to call that an episode. All right. See you guys. Bye.